Let's go. And we will see. Another beautiful weekend. Today is Saturday, the 22nd day of April 2023, and we are discussing the obvious today. So perhaps it's just a reminder to you. Well, it may be strange if it's completely new, but it's a fact that sin kills. So that's our topic, and we've been reading whole chapters from the book of Judges. Today is not going to be different. The only difference is that we are reading today from the book of Judges in chapter 16. Are you set? Let's go. Samson went to Gaza, and there he saw a harlot, and he went into her. The Gazites were told, Samson has come here, and they surrounded the place and lay in wait for him all night in the gate of the city. They kept quiet all night, saying, Let us wait till the light of the morning, then we will kill him. But Samson lay till midnight, and at midnight he arose, and he took hold of the doors of the gates of the city and the two posts, and pulled them up, bar and all, and put them on his shoulders, and carried them to the top of the hill that is before Hebron. After this, he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came to her and said to her, Entice him, and see wherein his great strength lies, and by what means we may overpower him, that we may bind him to subdue him, and we will each give you eleven hundred pieces of silver. And Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me wherein your great strength lies, and how you might be banned, that one could subdue you. And Samson said to her, If they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings, which have not been dried, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. Then the lords of the Philistines bought her seven fresh bowstrings, which had not been dried, and she bound him with them. Now she had men lying in wait in inner chambers, and she said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he snapped the bowstrings as a string of toe snaps when it touches the fire. So the secret of his strength was not known. And Delilah said to Samson, Behold, you have mocked me and told me lies. Please tell me now how you might be bound. And he said to her, If they bind me with new ropes that have not been used, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. So Delilah took new ropes and bound him with them, and said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. And the men, lying in wait, were in an inner chamber, and he snapped the ropes of his arms like a thread. And Delilah said to Samson, Until now you have mocked me, and told me lies. Tell me how you might be bound. And he said to her, If 
you weave the seven locks of my head with a web and make it tight with a pin. Then I shall become weak and be like any other man. So while he slept, Delilah took the seven locks of his head and wove them into the web and she made them tight with a pin and said to him, The Philistines are upon you. Samson, when he woke from his sleep and he pulled away the pin, the loom, and the web. And she said to him, How can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times and you have not told me where in your great strength lies. And when she had pressed him hard with her words day after day and urged him, his soul was vexed to death. And he told her all his mind and said to her, A razor has never come upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I be shaved, then my strength will leave me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. When Delilah saw that he had told her all his mind, she sent and called the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up his ones, for he has told me all his mind. Then the lords of the Philistines came up to her and brought the money in their hands. She made him sleep upon her knees, and she called a man and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him, and his strength left him. And she said, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. And he awoke from his sleep, and he said, I will go out as other times and shake myself free. And he did not know that the Lord had left him. And the Philistines seized him and gouged out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with bronze fetters. And he ground at the mill in the prison. By the hair of his head, but his, the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. Now the lords of the Philistines gathered to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon their God and to rejoice. For they said, Our God has given Samson our enemy into our hand. And when the people saw him, they praised their God, for they said, Our God has given our enemy into our hands. The ravager of our country who has slain many of us. And when their hearts were merry, they said, Come, Samson, that he may make spots for us. So they called Samson out of the prisons, and he made spots before them. They made him stand between the pillars, and Samson said to the Lord, to the Lord who held him by the hand, Let me fill the pillars on which the house rests, that I may lean against them. Now the house was full of men and women, all the lords of the Philistines were there, and on the roof there were about 3,000 men and women who looked on while Samson made sport. Then Samson called to the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee only this once, O God, that I may avenge upon the Philistines for once, for one of my two eyes. And Samson grasped the two middle pillars upon which the house rested, and he leaned his weight upon them, his right hand on the one and his left hand on the other. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. Then he bowed with his might, and the house fell upon the lords and upon the people that were in it. So the dead whom he slew at his death were more than those 
whom he had slain during his life. Then his brothers and his family came down and took him and brought him up and buried him between Zorah and Eshtal in the tomb of Manoah his father. He had judged Israel 20 years. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That, that's a very long story. Sin kills. The sin of Samson consistently being with Delilah. What was he doing there several days? Tested the first time, second time, third time, fourth time. And eventually you still opened up. What was it about that woman Delilah? May God save men from Delilah's. And may God not make women around us Delilah's in Jesus' name. So sin kills and you should avoid sin. Part of the ways of easily falling into sin is not allowing the Spirit of the Lord to be with you, not being with Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So I want to invite you right now to be far away from death. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you are set for that experience, just say this prayer. Say, Lord, I come to you right now. I want to be far away from sin so that I will not die cheaply. Therefore, forgive me of all the sins of the past and restore me to you completely today. I accept you as Lord and Savior. From today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that prayer, you need to find a Bible-believing church where you can grow in the faith. Come join us in the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension, Ushobu. And we worship for now in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Oikon and Gokyo Drive, Oroki Estate Extension, Ushobu. You can join us on Tuesdays, 5 o'clock in the late afternoon for our midweek services. Or tomorrow, Sunday, like every other Sunday, 9 o'clock in the morning for our Sunday morning services. And as you go out today now, this beautiful weekend, you need to say this prayer. Say, Father, help me to overcome my weakness by Jesus' blood and live a holy life in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today. And before you go out, don't forget to drop something in the bank account details that you can see on your screen. We are trying to build the permanent church building for our fellowship, for our congregation, and the Lord will bless you. Go out and today flee from sin and it will be well with you. God bless you. you